Jillian and Sarah. We're going up the fire road at Big Sur right now to find a camping spot. We've been going uphill for about 10 minutes now <laughs> on a sketchy dirt fire road. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little freaked out, but Sarah says she knows what she's doing <laughs> and that she's done it many times before. So I'm gonna ignore the pit feeling in my stomach that I've had for a, quite a while now and trust her because we're way too far up now to turn back. So, bye. Guys, what's up? It's Sarah and Jillian again. Again. Um, just wanted to update you guys. I know you've been worried, um, but we made it up safely. I'm still a little sketched out, but I'm sure. I'm sure as she brings up what if a bear gets in the tent tonight? And I'm like, well, there's food in, in Yosemite. They're like, don't keep food anywhere but the food bins because bears will come and eat it. Yeah. If a bear a wants nice... the Sour Patch watermelon, they yeah, can have they them. they can have it. I don't want them that badly. I don't either. So, yeah, just want to update you. Hopefully we uh, sleep well. So, yeah. bye. Bye. Hey guys, us again. <laughs> um, we survived camping the night. We got back down the really sketchy road that I was really scared on. It was fine on the way down, the way up was just really bad. Sleeping on the cold hard ground wasn't the most comfortable thing, and especially because our bodies are in a good amount of pain from hiking half dome still. Just like not a great combination. But we're just toughing it out, we're just full send ahead, you know? Um, so now, since there was a landslide on the one, we have to go all the way north again, and then cut back down a different way. So we literally added like five hours to our trip just so we could like camp there and have a terrible night's sleep. <laughs> but the view is amazing, totally worth it. <laughs> All for the adventure, right? All for the adventure. We're young, we can take it right now, we you know? Can. We gotta do it while we can. So now we're going to Pfeiffer. I keep saying Sarah has the plan and Sarah asked me what we're doing and I'm like, I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> so we're just kind of figuring it out as we go along, you know? I just really wish I had a cup of coffee in my hand, but sometimes you gotta make sacrifices for fun we'll things. Get there. We'll get there. So. <laughs> oh, hey vloggers, what's up? Didn't see you there. We're on the road, still in Big Sur. We got coffee. We have coffee. We had a donut. So really good. good. Um, and I got this cool little Big Sur patch because I'm gonna start a patch collection on my backpack. So I got from Yosemite and I got this Big Sur one and I wanted to get a, like, a cool picture of it in front of the cliffs and stuff. And so Sarah was like, oh, I know this perfect place. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> so like, it's just up here. We pull up in front of this gate that says private property, no trespassing, please keep off. And I'm like, Sarah, we can't go there. And she's like, yeah, you can. You just ignore the sign. Jump the fence. And I'm like, uh, well. <laughs> so Sarah jumps the fence. And I'm like, well, I can't just stay here like a sissy. <laughs> So we jump the fence after running down this field. Ends up being a great overlook. Amazing, beautiful view. Really like, just like secluded and stuff. Yeah, I still feel a little bit bad about it, yeah. so. It's also a cow field, because there was cows in the field too, so. We're just cows, two cows hanging out with the other cows. <laughs> SpongeBob and Patrick. <laughs> Leo, Leo, Leo. Leo. <laughs> I'm Patrick, she's SpongeBob, because she's the voice of reason and I break all her reason, so. <laughs> And if Spongebob being a voice of reason tells you anything about Sarah as a person, <laughs> says it all, folks. What's up, guys? It's Sarah and John Lennon here. Um, just made a pit stop. We're only supposed to be here for five minutes, but I think we've been here for 30, 35 now, so. Don't you dare put that cheeto in my ear. <laughs> We're losing it! We don't, we need something. We don't know what it is, but we know it's something please tell us. You know? So if you have any suggestions, hit us up. We'll just know. Real food maybe? A solid night's sleep? We haven't had that in a couple Perhaps. days. Perhaps. That's been... Yeah. Mm -hmm. To not be in the car. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Just the essentials. <clears throat> Woo! These are spicy. John Lennon again. So, in order to occupy ourselves for a little bit, we have decided to just recount some of the kind of weird, maybe scary, funny things that have happened and funny things that have been said. Sarah has said the phrase full send at least 67 times on this trip so far. 
Really, I'd say 68 times. But, yeah. Yep, that's good. So, oh, Sarah had a dream. She took like a 10 minute nap after we hiked Half Dome. She woke up and was like all startled, and she was like, I just dreamed that I fell off Half Dome twice. <laughs> After we'd already hiked it, so it was already safe, you know? It wasn't even, like, came out of, like, I already hiked it and then had a dream of the fear that I fell off of it <laughs> two times. It was like I had to live it once. Once wasn't enough in my dream. No, no. I had to fall off twice. And let me tell you, each one scarier than the last, so. She also, scary. every time she thinks about the cables, her palms get sweaty. Yes! Oh my gosh, it's already starting. <gasps> I just don't understand. That was so gnarly. And I, I think... My young self, like, because I did it when I was 12, and this is my theory, is, like, back then when you're 12, you don't think about the fact that life is fragile, and now at the ripe age of 23, I'm like, I could easily die soon. Therefore, I was on the cables just watching Jillian full send, which, by the way, another fun fact about the trip is the people commenting on the fact that Jillian was practically sprinting up the hike the entire way, and they're like, yeah, your friend's really setting the pace fast because we just haul butt past people. And they'd be like, yeah. And they'd always make and mention to me because I'm the one behind her. And they're <laughs> like, yeah, your friend's going really fast. I'm like, you're telling me I just have to keep up with her. And I'm not a weenie. I'm not going to stop. And then she looks behind me and like, I'd be like elated that she would stop. I'm like, okay, thank goodness she's tired too. Like, but then she'd like see me stop and then she'd be like, <laughs> and I'm like, well, here we go again. I'm like, guess I'm just going to lose oxygen for the next 12 hours. So anyways, that was really funny. People were impressed by her absolute craziness going up the cables. It was pretty intense. And the whole hike. So another... My theory is that it's just easier to run right. uphill than it is to walk. Yeah. Because it's faster. Right. Then the pain just all comes at the end rather than like every single second during it, you know? I started to give in to that at the end of it when we ran the last three miles, so... We did run the last three miles downhill. I believe her when she says that. I'm just, I'm pretty surprised at our endurance to, you know, you go on road trips with people, there just gets to be points, and like, we definitely had our moments, whether we liked it or not. I think we're in a moment, that's why we're filming, we're kind of working, we're trying to figure it all out, but yeah, I feel like we've done pretty good. You may have wanted to kill me, but... There was a time when we were on our way to Yosemite. <laughs> We were gonna pull off at a Costco to get gas because we were low. And we're like, Costco will have the cheapest gas. And so I tell Sarah to take this one exit and she misses it. So we're like, okay, it's fine. Like, we'll just go to the next one and we'll turn around. <laughs> so we go to do that, but then she misses the exit again. And so we have to take another turnaround. We end up having to do like three of the four clover leaves. And so then we finally get to the Costco gas station, but it was Memorial Day, so Costco was closed. And we're like, that's great. We just went through all this trouble to get Costco gas. And then it was closed. And we were both just like... Witching. We just like wanted to kill each other a little bit, but neither of us would say anything about it. Yeah. And so then we're like, okay, it's fine. Like, we'll just go to Walmart. We'll get the stuff that we need. Like, it's fine. So then we went to the Walmart. It was the sketchiest Walmart I've ever been to. Yeah, it was bleak Sarah there. like asked one of the workers like where their headlamps and flashlights were. And they're like... Yeah, I don't really know. Like, this is all kind of messed up. So, like, it might be somewhere over there. And we're like, okay. That didn't was end so up finding helpful. any, so, you know, it just didn't have any flashlights. But it was fine. We were fine. It's about the theme of the trip is just nothing. Mm -hmm. Like, everything going perfectly, but yet nothing really going perfectly. But yet it, like, falls into place. Like, uh, yeah, the fire the first night was hysterical. Oh, my gosh. That was so bad. Well, that was another low. I don't sure. know if we told you guys about the fire yet, but we bought like some of those like self lighting, not self lighting, but like one of those fire logs where you just lighting. need one. You like light the wrapper and the log just burns. It's like not a real fire log, but it burns really easily. We're like, this is good. We don't have to build a fire. We're really bad at that. And so we go and we light it and I start roasting hot dog over it. And I'm roasting this hot dog and it is just like straight black, not like Ooh, yummy char grilled hot dog black. Like this thing is like black. Like black. Blacker than black. And I was like, hey Sarah, will you like read the package to make sure you can cook over this? And she is like reading all this fine print. She's like, I don't see anything about it. 
and there's just like lists of things in like the smallest font you can think of. And at the very bottom of the list, it says, do not use open flame for barbecuing or cooking. And we're like, <laughs> why would you make that the last thing on the list? Like, oh, hey, by the way, this could kill you if you use it to cook. I'm like, oh, no. wow. So like, don't let your two-year-old roast marshmallows over it because you'll <laughs> kill them. And so then I had to throw the hot dog away. And then we were like, oh, we just spent $12 on this hot dog stuff because yeah. everything in the valley is so expensive. And we're like, okay, we have to have hot dogs tonight. So then went and bought $10 firewood from the little store thing. Had to log it all the way back over to the campsite. I was carrying on my shoulder like a dad. And then we built this wimpy fire. And Sarah and I were both trying to build the fire at the yeah, same time. And so we were just messing each other up and yeah. it was not working. And we were like both like getting really passively like yeah. annoyed at each other. Yeah. Like, oh. But thankfully Jillian surrendered because she's amazing <laughs> and such a good friend. And my stubborn head won in that fight. But did I make a good fire? Not really. So the moral of the story is why, like, we should have just trusted it. Yeah. It was just one of those times, you know. Again, like, things in life that just, you gotta learn. And we learned a lot of hard lessons along this trip through trial and error. Building fires is really hard. It I'm is. never good at it. I always mess up. Mm -hmm. So if anyone has a secret recipe to how to build a good fire, please let, let me know. know. Please, let us know. Yeah. We're very bad at it. We did manage, and we fed ourselves, and it was good, you know? We didn't have hot dog buns, so we just used, like, regular, slightly stale sandwich bread instead. Yeah. It, not gonna lie, it wasn't great. No, it had the scent of bananas. You know mm -hmm. bananas ruin everything? It yeah, bananas like were in the bag with it. was mm -hmm. kind of weird. It was real Still worse. ate, like, four of them. And we had s'mores. And we had s'mores. That's a success. Yeah, the s'mores were good. We had taco, which was baller. Gonna go wake up and watch the stars, but that didn't happen because we were exhausted and it was cloudy. However, Jillian passed out, and so I was like, "No!" At like eight o'clock, like, like meant to just out. like take like a slight nap before we went to go look at the stars. Yeah, Done not for. happening. Meanwhile, I was like sick as a dog because I was covered in mosquito bites because they loved me, and I had like a rash on my leg. I was just in bad shape. And like it didn't feel good to lay down, so I was like schlepping around the camp, figure it out. I kind of like schmoozled the guy at the store to give me his employee discount on some itch cream, <laughs> and bug spray, and it worked. And he's like, "Yeah, they go for the blondes first. So I was like, "Oh, really? Do tell." And so worked that angle, got the employee discount, came back to camp, and yeah, Jillian had kind of passed. Was like, and I was like, "Okay, maybe it's not." ideal to watch the stars but I'm like we have to we, this is, you have to but we also were going to go wake up and do Glacier Point sunrise in the morning so I'm like wow we got a lot on our list even though we just did a 20 mile extremely difficult hike so she falls asleep and I was just like no like this isn't going to happen so I packed up while she's passed out which by the way she sleeps like a rock I do not I've been taking Zequel every night because I cannot sleep so <laughs> she's out this whole time I'm like munching on chips I'm being so loud and I She woke up at 12.30 a.m. wondering what the heck. I was so Freaked confused. Out. I woke up because I was like, oh no, like I put peanut butter on the shelf. Yeah. There's still food in here. Bear's going to come yeah. in and eat it. There's like shampoo in here. Yeah. They're going to smell it. They're going to come in the tent. And I like looked over at Sarah. Yeah. She was sleeping. And Sarah's <laughs> eyes looked like this. And they like opened up at me. <laughs> to her Turns out moving. she had totally like put everything away. It was fine. Ding. <laughs> and it was cloudy, so we couldn't have seen the stars anyways. Kind of sad, but. What's that? But oh, well. we determined we would wake up really early to watch the sunrise. So Most amazing, was amazing sunrise of our lives. Amazing. There was one point where I was trying to like get on, like go across these rocks to get another picture, but I didn't put my shoes back on, so it was in my socks. And I was like in the middle <laughs> of this slanted rock, like, like okay, I'm in the middle of slipping, but like, and I would like try to like reach, like grab onto the top of the rock, but then I would slip more. And Sarah's just watching me from behind. I have this whole like five minute long thing. I'm like. Do I slip down and I get my socks dirty or like do I try and like lunge up and grab it but I had like my phone and stuff in my hand to take pictures and it was a it was great an ordeal. It was awesome. Yeah. Yeah and then we decided to book it straight to Big Sur which was wild enough and amazing at the same time. We got some in and out on the way and then got some caffeine some nourishment in our body and went a bit cuckoo on our drive to Big Sur but it was so much fun. We laughed so hard. We sang a bunch of crazy songs. Um, we almost got murdered by this freaking scary. This is really 
sketchy guy that was just walking up center of the road. We're like, I'm going 80. Excuse me? Yeah. She wasn't going 80. She was going like 60, maybe. Yeah. Um, but like out of nowhere. And he was like wearing all black, like was just walking in the middle of the road, like sunken face, like. And like didn't even move out of the middle of the road. Like we had to like completely go around him. And we're like, it was so wild. And then this morning, we were driving back and we saw him in the middle of the road again. And we're like, do you yeah. live somewhere? Do you just walk on the road in the middle of nowhere? Exactly. It was I don't wild. know. It was real wild. It was pretty sketchy. And then we go up this fire road to camp on the side of the road. The sketchiest road I've ever been on in my whole life. I told you guys about it. I'm trying to kill her, basically. We have fun and like laugh about it later kind of thing. To someone who hasn't done it, for sure, you're like, are you psycho? Yeah, I am, but... She is. I mean, you know... I full send. That's what, what life is about. Full send. Safely. I told you she said that phrase so many times. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. well, I'm gonna go. The Preach is like a 10 minute video now, so <laughs> who knows if you will, it'll even make it into the finished vlog. But It might, but it's funny. Deuces. It's us again. Hey. Um, so we just made a pit stop in LA. Uh, Sarah just totally California rolled that stop sign. <laughs> Louie like lightly tapped the brakes and just kept going. <laughs> so anyways, made a pit stop in LA with some of Sarah's friends. They're amazing. amazing. I love them. We slept in a real bed last night indoors. It was so nice. Shower. Took a shower. We got like real breakfast this oh. morning. It was so it was good. So good. Like took a nice walk outside. Uh, it's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. The birds are singing. <laughs> spirits are high. <laughs> we feel like normal people again. Mm -hmm. It was so good. Wow. Yeah. I feel so well rested we right now. So we're on our way back to Carlsbad now. Last leg of the trip. Like an hour and a half of driving left to go, and then we're gonna do nothing, nothing. for the rest of the day. Absolutely Lay in nothing. Lay in the sunshine and enjoy this beautiful mm -hmm. day. Yep. So thanks for sticking with us through our trip. Mm -hmm. It has definitely had its ups and downs yeah but we're just really thankful that we had you guys here supporting us all along the way yeah so wonderful. even though there's no one behind this camera right now we feel like we, <laughs> we just have, have an like audience. an army an audience <laughs> yeah. just like supporting. really supporting us and like pushing us <laughs> to just keep going you know and keep sending keep so. sending <laughs> for the 180th time keep sending keep sending <laughs> never stop sending so with that our final sign off Mwah. It's been we so real. You. Thank you so much. And we love you guys. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs>